jump from trains to telecoms telephone boxes. Should they be red or blue? We have uh, asked the Wizard of Christchurch in to state his position in the debate. He, of course, has been painting telephone boxes red in the last day or so. Mr Brian Finn from Telecom declined uh, our offer to appear on the programme. First of all, I've got to ask, why the motivation for a red telephone box? Well, no one knows why they began as red, except something to do with state power, I think. They had things like the uh, buses and the telephone boxes and the fire engines and post boxes because they were the government things. Now it's been privatised, of course. It's caused chaos in all these areas. But I feel that it's traditional now. It's not a matter of, uh, of argument because de gustibus non is putandum, which means roughly uh, in matters what? of taste there is no argument. So okay. I can't argue about it. I just like really. Well, I myself don't mind a bit of tradition. This is a, a telephone box that we use around here in the, in the yard, and I rather like the red colour. Yes, people are buying them, you know, for their houses indoors and in the gardens. I think they're very attractive little works of art, almost. It's like a heritage thing, really. Now, telecom aren't equipped to handle things that aren't modern and high-tech. I mean, they're all fibre opt uh, optical fibres and fancy transmitters, and their staff probably have got no awareness that inheriting these boxes, they've inherited a part of our culture, our tradition. They only realised that this week, I think, when everyone really berserk when they, when they realised that, that this whole thing couldn't be stopped very easily. You certainly caused quite a stir. What, what's, what's the position now? Uh, are, are you uh, liable for the cost of painting this uh, red telephone box? I'm not sure. It's a very high cost, mind you. The council is going to discuss a motion on Monday City Council about paying back the cost that I'm going, incurring by this. Not for my paint, which is very small, but for the amount I'm going to be charged for repainting them blue. Also, the telecom are very gracious, I think very good of them, are holding a survey this week and the next few days to establish if people want it blue or red. The moment they said that, I stopped painting them red. They're giving it a go. They're going to ask people in Christchurch, you know, is it red or blue? What colour do you like? If they agree it's red or green or purple, whatever it may be, I'll stick by the decision too. So the no telecom, more paint. They're the sort of people that have probably had lots of surveys. They've surveyed all sorts of things. How, how do we know that they haven't checked out the colour of telephone boxes? Because the blue one is so horrible they could never check it out. Well, no well, one I mean, it, it's not know. such a bad shade if of blue, really, If you're a bit nutty, it? a bit screwed up, or some sort of, you know, arty type, you might like it. But quite frankly, the ordinary guy in the street can't stand those blue. Everywhere I go, the cheering and waving that on your words, give one for me and so on. And there have been donations to the, <laughs> to the council, of these, the promotions council to help me in my way with these battles and so on. There could be legal costs for this one. Maybe there won't even be that. I don't know. Telecom has done a very good job in yeah. bringing it to the public. It's difficult getting a word in edgewise here. <laughs> I, I have to make the point too. Would you have gone on painting telephone boxes red if Telecom perhaps hadn't adopted the position they've presently taken? I think I would, yes, but a more guerrilla warfare, striking suddenly and quietly in various suburban locations. That one in Worcester Street is now called the Wizard's Phone Box, by the way. It should have a plaque on it. It's been a stuff. They're all watching it. The police, you know, everyone around there is watching it. If I go near that one, I'm in trouble. OK, Woods, thanks very much for joining us, and uh, keep up the battle. That's the programme for tonight. We'll see you again tomorrow. Good night.